Uh, I think just a better job on Pangos, not letting him get off on a bunch of shots. He's a great player, and when he gets in rhythm like that, hits a few threes and became really aggressive, and we didn't make the adjustments we needed to to stop him before he got going. Um, I think we just kind of we tried to fill out the game a little bit too much instead of just playing, doing what we do and just attacking from the beginning. Um, and that's all just within our team. Um, that's something we'll have to control and do a better job of next time. But uh, we have to play our game um, from the tip instead of waiting for you know a few minutes to go by and then trying to play our game. Uh, tempo, just pushing the ball up, pushing with the pass instead of the dribble, and just making their big guys run and just playing our game and making them adjust. He's the same guy. It's just, you know, it's tough when you're hurt like that and you want to rest the ankle and that just that transition of resting and playing and getting rhythm. So it's just been a hard process. You know, I've gone through it too where he doesn't get a lot of reps in practice trying to rest it and then he goes in. I mean, he's done a, he's done a great job. That's, that's one of the hardest things to do is to rest and then all of a sudden tip goes off and start playing. And I feel like he's done as good a job as you could in that situation. It's really hard. Yeah, you know, it's kind of tough. You want to go into these games uh, having all your, your guys ready ready to roll. So it, it hurts, but, you know, you can't can't control injuries as part of the game. So it's just up to us to practice and, and get better and, and roll with the guys that we have. Um, well, he's just a smart player. Um, you know, they throw the ball at one end of the floor and on the opposite end he'd, you know, rotate up and down along that three-point line. So, I mean, credit to him. He's, he's a smart player and a great shooter, and we got to do a better job of, of finding him next time. Yeah, he's a great shooter. And I think uh, it's hard because he get in that high post and we have to stop Pangos and other shooters, and he got free. But he's a great player. He's really He spreads the floor really well, and he's also got some post-it games. So it's really hard to guard, and credit to him and credit to them for, for hitting the shots. I mean, when it comes down to it, they hit the shots they needed to in the second half. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, their their big guys are, you know, they're a load down there, and their guards are, are great shooters and, you know, good playmakers. So that's definitely one of their better teams. And, I mean, they're always great every year. Um, but this is one of their better teams, and, you know, we'll have to be much better next time we play them. That's for sure. Definitely our toughness and our willingness to win down the stretch. Um, you know, we've played games like this before where we get a team down the stretch and we're up at one point and we kind of let it slip away. And I think we're getting better. Um, we've had games against like UMass and Stanford where we've, we've come, on, come out on top and I think we're getting better. Uh, this was a great team. I mean, it's a top 10 team in the country. So, you know, you know, you have your hands full going into it, but we're growing. Um, and this is something we can use to get better. Uh, we'll go back and watch film and, and use this to our advantage. and. Hopefully win the rest of our games in conference.